Google Workspace Review. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Google Workspace and I'm going to be reviewing it. I'm going to be telling you how to use it, all of its features and how much it costs. So let's get into it. So over here, as you can see, I'm on googleworkspace.com. And since this is a Google service, we can get started by clicking on the get started button and we can just simply go ahead and sign up with our Google account. Now, I will say that it is not free. There is a pricing plan. So if we take a look at over here, you're going to have to buy or at least get started with the business starter. And you will also need a domain as you will need a email or a mail that has your business name over here. So it's, you're going to need a domain that is going to be you at your company.com. So it's going to be required. Other than that, you should be good to go. Now, I already have that. I already have a domain and I've already created an account and connected with it. So let's get into it. So for me, I can just simply go ahead and get started and go into the admin console. But for you, you're going to have to click on get started. And then it's going to ask you for your email, your name and your last name. And then it's going to ask you to go ahead and connect with a domain if you already have one. If you don't, you have to go ahead and buy a domain from Google Domains and you should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and go into admin consoles and show you a little bit about it. I'm going to log in, already have an account and here we go. So once you've logged in, this is how it's going to look like. This is going to be your admin console. This is going to be your dashboard. Here you will be able to see all of your users, all of your products, your billing cycles, your discoveries, domains, everything. You're going to have access to all of your Google related applications, basically your workspace related applications like Drive, Apps and OneDrive and everything. So you can see over here, Google Apps, Devices, Directory, Generative AI, Security, Data and Reports and Billing as well. Now, as I said before, you are going to require a domain. As you can see, this is my domain over here. I already have it and you can easily add a domain by clicking on Add Domain button. And it's going to ask you to go ahead and add a secondary domain. I already have it. So that's why it's asking me to add a secondary domain. I'm not going to do that. I just want to show you that over here, you can see this is the domain that I have primary domain and it is Gmail activated. So you can go ahead and set up users and deactivate it later. But yeah, this is going to be your domain. You can see I already have added the DNS records and it's so easy to do it. It basically does it automatically. So if you already have a domain and you will just simply click on, I already have a domain and you add that domain when it asks you, then you go into the website where you have the domain. So for me, it was GoDaddy. So I go into GoDaddy.com and I go into the domain, right? And then it automatically, I can go ahead and it'll basically tell me to go ahead and click on manage DNS and add DNS records. It basically shows you the button where you can add it. And then you just simply click on it and it's going to automatically redirect you to GoDaddy, right? And then it'll do its own thing. You add and approve it and then it checks whether or not you actually own it. And then it sends you a verification email right here to activate the Gmail activation. And then once you've done that, you should be good to go. So it's pretty simple. You can always add or change a domain later on. But as I said before, you will require a domain. And of course, there is a pricing plan, which will deep dive into later on. So for now, I just want to show you around why you should use Google Workspace. So for this one, you can basically use it to manage everything. So you can see over here, the price, it only costs you $7 for the simple version. It's going to be $7 per user per month. And once you have activated it, you'll get access to all of Google's applications, even the ones that are still not available to other public like for example, generative AI, and you can use the Gemini app over here and install it onto your services, onto your applications, onto your websites. So you can see right here, service status, and you can always allow this service status, whether or not you want it to be on for everyone or off for everyone. It totally depends on you. You can go ahead and check it out. You also have Gemini for workspace. So if you click on Gemini for workspace, you can see right here, workspace settings. Currently, we don't have any settings because Choose whether to turn on the access features over here, but it's already turned on over here. And then we have Gemini reports right here where you can see the level of usage of this application, right? Which user has been using it or which not. You can see over here eligible Gemini users and everything. So it's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Then you also have directory where you can go ahead and see all of your users, your groups, your organizational units, directory settings, and discovery sync, etc. Of course, you all have your dashboard where you will receive everything. So right now I have my backup email, which is this one. I will receive security emails over here. They will also ask you to do that as well. 
So it's pretty simple. It's like a one-stop shop for everything. And if you come over here, you can set your product updates over here. So if you have a website that you're selling products on, you can use, you know, Google Workspaces to keep track of them, to analyze them. And since you will have access to the AI as well, so you can incorporate AI into your website as well. You're going to have your security options, reporting, billing, everything you would possibly need in one place. Even your stories related settings are going to be available over here. So you can see right here, this is my storage. Currently, I'm not using it a lot because, you know, I didn't need to. I only have one user and you have other options as well. But yeah, this is how it looks like. And it's pretty simple and easy to get started. You will, however, need a domain, which I already showed you how you can get. Other than that, you don't basically need to do anything. You've got all of your applications over here. As per usual, you can see over here, uh, more Google Workspace Marketplace apps are going to be over here. So you click on that. It's going to take you to the Google Workspace Marketplace where you can get specific applications for Google Workspaces. So you've got your Adobe Express, Google Arts and Culture, Bulk Member Manager, Team Manager, basically, that's what it is. So it has its own extension marketplace instead of the usual normal extension. So now that you know how it works, how you can create an account, how to get the domain and everything, let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing plan and see how much it will cost. And this is the pricing plan over here. So this is the business starter. This is the one that I have. And this one, you'll only get 30 gigabytes of storage, pooled storage. So this is a shared storage per user. So you also get your secure custom email, business email, which we already have. You get started with the AI, Gemini AI assistant in Gmail, chat with AI in Gemini app, and 100 participants, video meeting, security and management console, and standard support as well. This is for $7 as well per user per month. And then you have the business standard. This one will give you two terabytes of pool storage and the same uh, company email. You get to unlock full power of the AI. You get Gemini AI assistant in Gmail, docs, meetings, and more. Whereas over here, you only get in Gmail, chat with the AI in Gemini app, and create your team of AI experts, AI research assistants like Notebook LM Plus, which is a pretty cool software, 150 participant videos, appointment booking pages, collaborative video creators, email layouts and mail merge, and security management and control, and standard support as well, all for $14 per user per month. And over here, you can see a direct comparison. If I go to, you know, upgrade my account, you can see it over here. AI search assistant, notebook LM, it is not present. It is present in the business standard. Chat with AI in Gemini app is not present in the current edition. It is available in the business standard. And then e-signatures, appointment scheduling, and more features are available in the business standard, whereas I don't get any of that. So now you know how much it's going to cost you. There's also the business plus. This one will give you five terabytes of pooled storage. You get secure business email and you get e-discovery and retention. You get more AI tool assistance like Gmail and everything. You get to chat with it, notebook LM. 500 participants instead of 150 or 100 appointment booking collaborative video email layouts and merge enhanced security management controlling including vault and advanced endpoint management and standard support as well so all that for 22 dollars so these were all the informations you needed to know about workspace how much it would cost its features how to use it and how to get started with it so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye